Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theojo Tech, and in this video I'm going to talk about the new update that Microsoft is planning for Windows 10. It's a major update called the Anniversary Update, and that's because it's going to be released around the same time that Windows 10 was first released. And this has got a lot of big features that are pretty exciting, so I thought I'd go over them. First, we can talk about the security updates. There are several that they mention. First of all, Windows Defender apparently has a lot of improvements and they say that this is going to make Windows 10 the most secure Windows ever. We'll see if that's true. You know, Windows isn't notoriously secure compared to, say, Linux, but they have been making improvements over the years. And Windows Defender, Microsoft's antivirus, is not exactly known for being that great, but it's decent and free, so if they can improve it even further, it might be a pretty good choice. There's also going to be new features for Windows Hello. That's a feature that allows you to log into Windows using your face or other biometric data. And with this update, apparently it's going to also let you log into certain websites using your face and recognizing who you are and then logging you into the site. I don't know if it's going to be tied directly into the site as like a partnership or maybe it'll be a plugin that saves your data and fills it in if you have your correct authentication or something like that. But it should be pretty interesting to see what they do. And finally, for Windows Enterprise customers, there's two security features that are going to be added. These are Windows Defender Advanced Protection and Windows Information Protection. And respectively, these are going to protect business networks from attack, not necessarily just individual computers. And the Windows Information Protection allows you to more separate business and personal information, so it protects against data loss. So I don't really use any of those. I'm not an enterprise customer or anything but some of you may be and may find this pretty useful. Besides security, there's going to be a new pretty big feature, it seems like, called Windows Ink, which is going to let you write and use handwriting to interact with some apps. I expect this is mostly going to be just for tablets like their Surface, but you theoretically could use it on a desktop with a mouse or maybe a writing pad or something like that. Certain apps are going to allow this to be used with it, such as Microsoft Office. You may be able to handwrite notes in Word, for example or in Edge, you can do handwritten annotations on websites, or in their Maps app, you could hand draw routes, and then that would be used for driving instructions. Next, there's gonna be a couple improvements for Cortana. For example, being able to remember information, they say like your flight information, or maybe where you parked, and you're also gonna be able to get notifications across different devices where you're logged into the same account. For Microsoft Edge, I think this is really exciting. They are finally adding extensions. It's been long overdue. This is pretty much the last browser to get extensions, I think. Chrome has had it, Firefox has had it, all these for years. I don't know why they took so long to allow extensions in Edge, the default browser for Windows, but maybe now it'll actually be a competitive browser because I know for a lot of people, including myself, that's one of the main reasons I never even really considered it is because I use a lot of extensions that I find useful. Maybe now I'll actually take a look at it. Finally, we're getting some notable gaming features. Windows 10 and Xbox have been becoming more integrated recently. So for example, Xbox Anywhere is a feature that will let you buy the game once and play it on both Xbox and Windows 10 for certain games and then also let you play on both and share progress such as achievements. So this is obviously a pretty big update for Windows 10. I think this is basically the equivalent of a service pack, although Windows 10 isn't calling it that anymore. Microsoft has been known to say that this is gonna be the last version of Windows, where instead of big updates and service packs, they're just gonna be incremental updates continuously, and eventually it's probably just gonna be called Windows. I should also point out that if you haven't yet upgraded to Windows 10 and you want to, now would be the time because the Windows 10 free upgrade is only going to be available until the end of July. So if you want to update, now's the time or else you're going to have to pay up later. So I'd be interested to hear what you guys think are going to be the best features. If I forgot anything, let me know down in the comment section or maybe they'll add more between now and when it gets released. So let us know down in the comment section what you think. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And if you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you do want to subscribe, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I think it should be worth it. Looking forward to hearing from you guys either here on YouTube or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.